So go ahead and pray for us there. Let us pray. Gracious and eternal God, we thank you for this time to fellowship, this time to study your word. God, we ask that you bless every house and every ministry that will be impacted by this study, by this. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God, we ask that you open our spirit to hear you speak. Yes, Lord. Speak through us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 If, so I, I want to welcome so everybody. You know. Huh? Just so you know, I might I, sometimes I might end up going in and out because I got a bad, kind of not great connection on this particular tablet. I just want to let you know that. Okay, we understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, we understand. Yeah. But I just want to welcome everybody to uh, Bible study again for this evening. And we're continuing our study about being the body. Mm -hmm. And uh, this evening we're going to be going... Uh, from Romans 12 again, but we're going from verses 17 through 21. And last time we uh, we, we we continued, we went did verses 13 through 16. We talked about uh, distributing to the necessity of the saints and giving the hospitality and that we serve each other, we look after each other, we get involved in each other's uh, uh, lives. But then he also, we talked about uh, blessing those who, who persecute you and it says, and he, he almost like Paul double talked. And he said, bless and not curse, because he mm -hmm. wanted to make sure we got that. And, and we talked about how you can't do that. That's not natural to do that in and of yourself, that you need the Holy Spirit's help to help us to do that kind of thing. But then he talked about rejoicing with those who rejoice and weeping with those who weep. We're having a heart of empathy. And Greg gave us a really good presentation about empathy and and what that meant to empathize, and so did Calvin. So well, they, they wanted to, us to understand that it meant to be enjoined with those people uh, and, and participate in their rejoicing and their suffering, not to be jealous at what they got, but to also to be willing to participate in their... Uh, and then it talked about being uh, not being high-minded or being the same mind towards one another, thinking... Uh, highly of, of of each other, but not being but uh, being willing to, to to deal with those people of low estate, not being caught up in pride, and, and not being conceited, and not being wise in your own eyes. See, these are all things that Paul talks about when he talks about uh, living a life of love or, or living Christian living. It, it's not about working to show that you're good. It's about letting the good that God has put in come out, but you're living out what God has put into us. Yeah. And, and that especially now comes into play as we move into verse 17. Because see, he doesn't just talk about how to deal with those that are brothers and sisters or, or those that, that you like or those that are, that are easy to work with, those that, that are, are good to you. He also talks about how to deal with those who aren't good to you That's and right. how to deal with those who you don't like, who don't like you because mm -hmm. and they don't even have to have a reason to don't like you so, so so god doesn't leave us guessing about this stuff he tells you how how to, how to do it and so this is coming from the king james version it says now verse 17 recompense recompense to no man evil for evil Mm -hmm. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. And uh, so, and then uh, we'll read verse 18 too, and we'll come back. To, uh, if it be possible, as much as the light in you, live peaceably with all men. So, God is, uh, uh, God is saying to us, we don't trade evil for evil. We don't try to out evil people who are being evil yeah so so uh uh so even if they cheat us we're not going to cheat them back that that's what he's trying to tell you if they uh if they lie on us we're not going to try to uh lie back on them uh it, it, 
if they uh, defraud us, we're not going to try to uh, defraud them back. Get we're, we're not going tit for tat with them on this stuff. He's trying to tell us that regardless of what they do, you want to be honest. You want to deal honestly. You want to deal uh, with a good heart. You, you want to deal out of a clear conscience. Even though they're being dishonest and cheating, you, you're not going to try to, to uh, scheme and cheat back. You, you're actually going to uh, present in an honest manner your, your uh, dealings with them. So even if they're being dishonest, you be honest. You be above board and, and you be straightforward. You, you're going to operate in love no matter how they operate. So your, your method of operating should not be contingent upon how they deal with you. It, it should be more contingent upon who you are in Christ mm -hmm. and, and what God has done in you. So, so even though they being evil, you're not going to be evil with them. You're going to let them just be as evil. And so if they be uh, angry and, and nasty, you don't be angry and nasty uh, with them. So they are out there cussing and stuff. You let them do their cussing, but then you you respond in grace. You you, yeah. you respond in love. Man, I'm gonna tell you that ain't that ain't easy stuff. It sure ain't. <laughs> in fact, I'll go ahead and own up to that's hard stuff. <coughs> that's some nasty people around that'll do some nasty, mean, undercutting, <laughs> conniving stuff. And this saying, you don't try to get you don't go down to their level. You you gotta go high no matter what. It all depends on your perspective. Yeah. Go ahead. If you have a kingdom of God perspective, yeah, it's like a giraffe and an ant. And a what? And an ant. Okay. The giraffe's body can't handle bending down to look an ant on the ground in the eyes. Go ahead. The giraffe tries to bend down, <laughs> put too much pressure on the giraffe's body, mm -hmm. and the giraffe will die. All right. So the giraffe won't even be trying to, because the giraffe understands that that's beneath me. Go ahead. The giraffe don't even focus on what's beneath. <laughs> That's a good approach right there. I guess so. I guess. So I had to learn, and it's funny, a buddy from Louisiana, <laughs> Elvin Lacey would often say, I'm not responsible for what you bring to a situation. Mm -hmm. I am only responsible what I do. I bring to the situation. All right. And because I'm only responsible for what I bring, mm -hmm. I'm not focused on what you brought. Amen. Amen. That's right. I am. If I, if I go back to the beginning of Romans 12, <coughs> and I take what Paul writes down serious, mm -hmm. as a Believer, I'm no longer me. Amen. Amen. I am Christ. Yes. I am the church. I am his representative. Yes. So then I have to respond. Yes. As him. Yes. So my perspective has to change. That's right. Amen. Amen. So, so now. Christ wasn't a pacifist. No, no, that's not empire, what he said. That empire Christianity teaches him as. Go ahead, go ahead. No. Weak and mild. No, that's not it. And as in, you can just dump whatever on me and I'm going to say his name. Mm -hmm. that's no. not what... He called spade, spade. Yep. He dealt with people that were evil. Yeah, malicious tool, but he mm -hmm. know you evil. 
<laughs> he called sin sin. That's right. If it was sin, he said it and, was sin. And, and, and so as believer, yeah. you can call what you do wrong. I just not gonna get evil with you. And I'm not gonna participate in that. That's right. I'm going to take the Christ standard. Yes. Because I want to maintain my Christ favor. I don't want to lose that blessing that I don't have room enough to receive. All right. All right. I don't want to lose Christ. So I'm not going to do what the devil do. And I'm not going to misrepresent him either. Right. I'm not going to... Well, if I'm not gonna, you misrepresent him, you lost him. Right. <laughs> so. I'm not going to use that flesh. Yeah, because, you know, I, I had to learn that as a hard lesson. It's a very hard lesson because throughout my life growing up, uh, you did something to me and you constantly, you pushed me in a corner. I found a way to get back at you. And I took it over into the Christian walk. But God, <laughs> if I, if I had a brother in the Lord that would just, he just would, he would just get on my last nerve. <laughs> he could not, he could not, this, uh, we couldn't come to agreement. And I got to the point where I hated to see him come in the door when we were getting together. And I'm sure he, he had the same feeling towards me. But I was looking at him as the problem. And I told you about Proverbs 15 and yes. 1. But this other scripture that came to mind is, is, is Romans 12 and 2. Be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed transform. by the renewal of your mind. All that right. you may prove what is a good except a word will of God. See, God didn't just stop at Proverbs 20, 15 and 1. He he took me to, to Romans 12 too. And I had to understand <clears throat> that that scripture was saying, my flesh want to strike back. My flesh want to do that evil for evil. And, and, you know, what we call righteous thing, they, there's their evil trying to, you know, sometimes what we call the truth ain't, ain't, is just our revenge. <laughs> That's, That's right. Our <laughs> it's our way of being revengeful, you know. And God doesn't appreciate that it, either. It's 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 the uh, the motive behind that. All right, that truth, which it may be the truth, but you chose a time to make it so that I could bring shame or uh, inflict mm. on that individual, and that's not what God wants us to do. No, nope. uh, that's why I like the emphasis that Dr. King put on uh, nonviolent protests, even to the point where they, they, they do harm and they put it in prison because what, what it showed, it showed the enemy that they had no recourse against what he was doing. They had no recourse. That in, in, in Galatians, the fifth chapter, talk about the, the fruits of the spirit. And in the, at the bottom, last part of that, when he talked about the fruits of the spirit, it said against such there is, there is no law. No law. Yes. And he's no not law. saying he's not saying that that uh that people can't make rules against it. He's saying there's nothing that'll work against that. That's right. There's no no soundness that that uh, that, that override. Why? Because it's light. Yes. The light and he that light shined in darkness, and darkness cannot. And That's if we it. could ever get that in, in our mind that we are the light, praise God, and, and that our light so shining in darkness, you know why? Why? Why you have a whole day of blessing and let two words from somebody just mess up your whole day? Mm. Why you got a whole time of, of praise and just let some little moment tear the whole time down? You may have spent six hours in, just in a wonderful day. And 10 minutes, some somebody says do something, it tears your whole day down. Why let that happen? When you know, when you know beyond the shadow of doubt that God got your back. Amen. And that, that what they do, that they didn't bring the joy to you. So if they didn't bring the joy, they shouldn't be able to take it away. All right. All right. All right. And then he says in verse 18. <laughs> If it be possible, <laughs> so he said, if it be possible, then, then listen to Paul talking now. He's saying it ain't always possible. But he says, yeah. if it be possible, 
Yeah. As much as it lied with you, in other words, as much of it as it in your control. Yeah. If it's possible, if it's in your control, you live peaceably with all men. Oh, oh yeah. And, and, and that peaceably doesn't mean just the absence of conflict. Okay, we, we like to think peace is the absence of conflict. It doesn't mean that. It means that the issue is settled and, and, and I can deal with you and you can deal with me. But notice he says as much as possible as it lies with you. Yeah. And it's because sometimes it ain't going to be up to you. Some people going to want to be and you're going to have to let them alone. Yeah. It, it's kind of like what, uh, what uh, Jacob and, and Laban did. Yeah. And, and uh, Jacob and Abimelech, and, and when he says, and see, we say this in church, and we need to stop saying stuff. We don't know what it means. He told uh, Laban, may the Lord watch between, between me and you. Yeah. In other words, I'm going to let the Lord keep keep the uh, the, uh, the lines, because we can't. We can't get along. We we what he really was saying. We we uh, you you not being straight and uh, and he owned his part saying and yeah. and then I'm I'm having issues trying to let this go too. So <laughs> you stay on your side of the mountain and I'm gonna stay on my side of the mountain and we're not gonna get together. And so that, that so he said, let the Lord watch between us. And yeah. so. Paul is saying as much as it is possible, as it, as it uh, lies within your control, you live peaceably with all men. But he says that there might be somebody that you can't. But, mm -hmm. but he said it, so he's saying, but don't let that be a, a, a stumbling block. Don't let that be something that constantly drags you or you allow yourself to be drugged into a situation. He's saying, cut that thing off. Uh, uh, you stay over there, and I'm going to stay over here. Yeah. But take it on. Uh -huh. There is a real need. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I know this person is going to keep trying to push buttons to unsettle me, mm -hmm. that we do sometimes need the mm -hmm. Lord watch. That's right. <laughs> between because you were a childish individual. All right. And your best. I love you, that why I ain't gonna harm you. Amen. So God, that's why I ain't responding to you. Mm -hmm. That's what he's saying. He's saying just let it go and say, okay, we we would you stay over there and I'm not coming in there. What you just said, Calvin, I, I love you, but I I can't I can't respond to you because it's you gonna it, it, it's gonna put me in the wrong spot. Dad, Dad taught me something really, really important when I used to deal with guys that want to bully and, and want to try and provoke fight. Actually, it was guys that, that knew that, that they uh, they couldn't get me really by themselves and they had to try to provoke in front of a crowd. Uh, <laughs> and they, and I kept I told him, I said, I keep coming to these guys and I just, you know, we fight. And he said, well, you know something? What you got to do is learn to walk, turn around, turn your back and walk away. Say a person look pretty stupid talk, uh, arguing with your backside. You ain't saying nothing. <laughs> they can't you know, fight I with tried, themselves. And it's true. I, I tried, it was true. They they kept on arguing. I kept on walk. I walked on the way. They thought that the crowd was gonna be on their side because they were talking and huffing and puffing, and I looked like a cow walking away to them. But it turned out that the people looked and said, "You look pretty stupid," because he, <laughs> he tried you by walking away. And that per that infuriated that person more. Yes. It infuriated me more. Yes. But I I kept walking away. To left me alone. <laughs> Which is really kind of what happened with Dr. King and his nonviolence. Yes. Some of those guys just got really, really mad because yeah. they wouldn't fight back. Yeah. And, and you're correct. They just got infuriated. Mm -hmm. and, and they went into wild rages. And, 
You just you see some of that stuff when when they uh, arrested him and beat him because they wouldn't fight back. And so it, it was it was it was really doing real harm to them. So Paul's saying sometimes you have to let that stuff go. Just just let them be what they're gonna be because that that's but you stay away from them. Is other words. Yeah. So then he uh, he helps us out. He, he he really helps us out. Now this one is another one that people have trouble doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And notice what he opens it up. Paul has a way of, of opening these things up. And notice how he opened this statement up. He says, "Dearly beloved." <laughs> notice what he's saying. Dearly beloved. He 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 he's he's, he's 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 getting ready to say. He says, "Dearly beloved." <laughs> Avenge not up. yourselves, huh? He said, "You up." Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Calvin said, yeah. "That's one way of saying it, Calvin." But he, he's, he's, he's getting our attention. He wants us to, to really get this. So he says, "Dearly beloved." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I learned to talk like him too. <laughs> Dearly beloved. <laughs> Like your kid coming in, to, you you want them to get, to, you want you to get some. Says avenge not yourselves. Uh -huh. So don't, don't don't you avenge yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. Now I'm going. What in the world is he talking for? It's written, vengeance is mine, and I will repay, says the Lord. So I always wonder about uh, that uh, some of that saying. So if you read that. In the, I got uh, a question for you. I got a question for you since you've read that. Huh? And this is supposed. This is supposed to be. I got a question for you since you've read that. Go give ahead. place to give place to wrath. In uh, situations, I'm gonna see if I can somebody, read you a different version. That's what I was looking for. Okay, <laughs> in, in 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 case in situation where a person physically harm will harm trying to harm you. Is you see the scriptures saying give place to that wrath in this situation? Because well, what uh, he's trying to tell you is don't get into uh, uh, your wrath. Is, doesn't bring uh, uh, he, right, he's, yes, and so he doesn't want you to 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 uh, go after them in vengeance. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay? Uh, uh, but now. That's why in the, later on he tells you to be angry and sin not. not oh yeah. Okay. Uh, he does say that. Don't try to hold that stuff in. You go. So, okay. You, you you if you got to leave, you leave. But you you be angry. But don't you get into sinning. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and here's the here's the issue. For it's written, vengeance is mine. Mm -hmm. I will repay, said the Lord. So don't you get them back. Let God get them back. Yeah, he knows you upset about it. He he knows that uh that that really uh, uh upset you. And guess what? It upset him too. But but get uh, whenever they did it to you, guess who else they did it to? Unto uh, him. They, they, and and all sin is against God. Cause who wrote the law? Whose law are they breaking? His. Mm -hmm. His law is a law of love. And so if they acting unlovely, guess whose law they breaking? He is. So guess who who should give vengeance on them? God. Uh, that's right. Yeah, I agree with that. Well, I used to have a, I, I used to say vengeance is mine, said the Lord, and I'm his agent of getting it. <laughs> but I realized that for me to get that vengeance, I had to fill myself up yeah. with the very thing me away from God. Amen. So to fly above it, you don't and you don't touch the rope. You allow them to reap what they sow. There you go. There you go. Now he's not saying that you don't get that you won't be mad. He's saying you got to find that you 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 uh, don't let your wrath cause you. To uh to, to sin, so you, you, you take it, you take it to God. There you go, and you leave it with God. For me, 
I had to understand that for me to get vengeance mm -hmm. was a lack of faith in God. And, and for everybody else too, because the reason is yeah. they, they get vengeance right. well, is that they don't think God's going to handle it. Say, God, I, I, I got this, God. You, you still say, I got this. <laughs> I, I ain't speaking for what's going on in other folk. For me, it was. Yeah, I mean, okay, for me too. I know how to do this better than God. <laughs> yeah, that, or, or that we think he ain't going to do it. But, but he's saying, vengeance is mine. I will repay. And here's the problem. He knows what, what the injury was, and so he also knows he's not going to overpay. He won't underpay. He, 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 he evens the score. So we don't need, we never get even. Anyway, we, yeah. we never get even. So he smashed my finger, so I almost smashed two of his. That's, that's not right. Even if I smash one, it still doesn't unsmash mine. It just means that we both got uh, smashed fingers. So that, that's, that's God saying, I will handle the, the, get the evening of the score. So let me handle that. So we're going to trust God with that, and we're going to handle our, our anger, our, our wrath differently. We're going to release it to him and let him handle it. So we're going to tell him about it. That, that, that's not a, 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 a that, that once again, this whole thing is, and that's why he talked about this uh, chapter four opening with a therefore, based on all that God has done, you got to present yourself a living sacrifice. You got to present yourself. You got to walk in love no matter how everybody else is walking. So it's not about what everybody else is doing. He does realize stuff is coming at you from outside. Look at all these things that he's getting into now. He got into early on what things that were coming from the inside, what things you, now he's talking about how you handle stuff that come at you from the outside. Uh, that so so he's saying that 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 God doesn't he leave us hanging. He's telling you how to handle it as well. I, I look at it also. There's there's another lesson that we probably have not considered. Uh, we as human beings got to learn really how to show compassion. Amen. And be merciful and be merciful because uh, that I, I found out something about as being a pastor. I found out something very specifically. That, that I know pastors learning. Uh, sometimes that person may be acting out of some because of some experience they had of who, who they were. All right. Had a, per, had a person that, that didn't want to listen to me as a pastor, but they listened to the first lady or they listened to some of uh, the old lady because that, that person said that she had been so damaged by men mm. that she couldn't, she could not stand a man telling her what to do yet i was the pastor and uh sometimes i direct it so I, I said to her i said well, then what, what would you expect if you walked into uh i gave an example of the, the comp or corporation and there's a big boss in there and he says uh, he wants things done a certain way he comes to talk to you because he's a man you will refuse or you can't accept that i say one thing you got to understand is you got to get over yourself Cause this ain't really about you. It ain't really about you. It really not. And, say, you know, and I, I know, I know some people have done things wrong, but you got to get over yourself. But I, I said, you know, something. One, one day you're gonna hear me for saying that I'm telling you this out of love because I love you. I'm your pastor, but I'm also want to be, you know, as kind as I can to you. I want you to understand that you can't go around here. Because some somebody else do you, and you're gonna just dismiss everybody being in the same boat. Because I said I don't know who that when were, but I never done you wrong, and I would never will, because that's my character. So you got to give everybody that opportunity, and that person, it took a it took a lot in me to love that person through the experience. It did, and I learned that through this experience here, sometimes. It ain't always about wh who that person is. Sometimes it's about something that they experience or who, how they were, the atmosphere in which they were raised or the atmosphere in which they lived at the time. That's so we why don't know God, what kind of, we right. don't know what baggage they carry. 
Yeah, that's why God tells us to do this because he knows, but we don't. And if we're going to be those that represent Christ, our compassion, our love, in spite of it all, will destroy. And you're going to see in the, in the latter verse, in the, another verse, it's going to tell you, it'll start to, it'll put fire up on them. It'll set fire. Had a brother, uh, today, it was 10 years. She stayed away from, she left, got mad. Something we, uh, we and she and I clashed over. Because I was just telling her the truth about something. And she got mad, left, didn't come back. And 10 years later, she come back and said, apologize. Say, you know something, I was mad at you and I, I was totally wrong. I didn't hold up against it. I still loved her every time I saw her. Hey, how you doing here? See? He calls a fire. The guilt, the, the guilt came up on her head. You know? <laughs> and, and she could not, because once you got a connection with God righteousness, you can't hide it. You can't erase it. It's always there because that's what God made us. Amen. So, so that's what he get. I'm glad you brought up the, that gets into the next verse. It says, therefore, based upon what he just says, vengeance is mine, I will pay, says the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy, not your friend, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. This is the person that just finished scratching up your car or throwing yeah. rocks at your house. If your enemy is hungry, Feed him. <laughs> this is the one who who just uh, uh, did something ugly to your dog and uh, and and uh, and tried to spit on your kids. If your enemy is hungry, feed him. Yeah. <laughs> if he thirsts, give him drink. He <laughs> said, "If he hungry, feed him. If he thirsts, give him drink. Don't leave him like that." You, mm -hmm. you're you being kind to him no matter, in other words, you, you're not repaying him evil for evil. You're going to be kind. You're going to express love no matter what he does. And he says, for in doing so doing, thou mm -hmm. shall heat coals of fire on his head. Wow. Now that's actually also quoting an Old Testament scripture. I don't have the in front of me, but I did look it up before uh, that uh, it, it says when you do that, you heaping, it's like heaping coals of fire because it's going to bother him. Yep. See, because he had to come to you to get something to eat, knowing that he, he was evil and you actually wow. gave it to him. See, first of all, he wasn't expecting you to actually do it uh, or they were, whoever they were, they weren't expecting that they, they're expecting you to try to be evil because they've been evil. And they probably told everybody, you're not going to give them nothing. But uh, just as sure as they came, <laughs> and because they were in need, you, you gave them food. Because they were in need, you gave them something to drink. Mm. In that way, we're also fully imitating Christ. That's right. Because we weren't his friends. When he died for us, ah, uh, there you go. Oh, there you go. We was his enemies. Yeah, <laughs> we weren't for him. We were against him. Right. There you go. And it's, it's interesting that he chose Paul to write this, because <laughs> Paul was the one who persecuted the church. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, and he so did. instead of if they had to try to persecute him back. Mm -hmm. it, we might have never had Romans, but because Ananias came to him, mm -hmm. even though he'd been persecuting the church, and prayed for Brother Paul, and then taught Brother Paul and fed him and made mm -hmm. sure he was in good shape, and, and uh, after he got to see, it, it took something to do that. Sure so and Barnabas took a chance on him. That's yeah. right. To do ministry with him. The, 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 and you're talking a brother who had persecuted him, so he's writing something that he knows about. Oh, uh, glory. That's right. He sure is. That's true. He, he not just, he's telling you what he knows, not what he thinks. But Jesus lived that. Yes. Time when they tried to push Jesus off a cliff. Yes. And, and somehow he just walked right through the crowd that was trying to push him off a cliff. And he, they were going to stone him. 
and, and he just blinded him and said, you know, through. That's right. He never <laughs> met them with the same hostility. Sure. 100%. And no, but these are the same people that he would do stuff like feed them. Yeah. These are the same people he preached to. Lay hands and they were healed. Yes. <laughs> they weren't all good folk. <laughs> we what? just seem to think that they weren't. Yeah. And what we need to know, we weren't all good folk. Oh, glory to God. That's right. There you go. <laughs> we was nasty too. Yeah, <laughs> there you go, there you go. That's the story, yeah. I remember my my family, when they say, you wake grumpy up, they say, no, we let him stay asleep. <laughs> Who's grumpy? Me. You was grumpy. <laughs> they, they, uh, I was so grumpy, I, I didn't even like me. <laughs> Yes, he was. <laughs> God changed that. Oh, glory to God. That's right. I didn't. God changed that. Yes. He made me a person everybody wants to be around, but is it, nobody wanted to be around oh, me. Oh, glory to God. <laughs> we weren't good people. You sure weren't. That's correct. And so we got to imitate our God and our Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, if our enemy hungry, feed him. If he thirsty, you give him something to drink. When, and, and then he tells you, he gives you a, 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 a command once again at this very end. He closes this out by saying, be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. That's right. <laughs> You can't beat darkness with darkness. So then you telling me that America should not have the largest military budget, but that we should truthfully have the largest arm giving budget. <laughs> you can't beat darkness with darkness. So we should be, we should be making funds available to our citizens who are hurting financially. Yeah, sure is. Yeah. should be giving non-genetically modified food to other nations rather than giving bombs and missiles to Israel. Mm. You cannot yeah. beat darkness with darkness. Uh, but you got, got to understand that the people that's, that that control those situations that are not necessarily those that walk that are part of the kingdom. It's the other part of the Satan don't always come with horns on. 100% on that. We think of overcome by evil mm -hmm. as something forceful sometimes and oftentimes it's gradual yes until it's cute curly and it corrodes the foundation of a building 100 percent. because if he it's, came forcefully most of the time we resist him it masquerades as an angel of light yes and he's really an angel of darkness. So, so we celebrating Pride Month. All right. Uh -oh. I don't gay bash. All right. There was a time in my life I did. All right. But me saying that God said it's sin is not, me being, it's not me being homophobic. Amen. Amen. But because we shut up, now our children think that's okay. But yeah. you can't. Here, here, Jesus I, calls sin, sin. Yo, yeah. People saying, yo, no, living the, you only live once and getting turned up, getting drunk, sex in the whole world, and all yeah. and we have deemed it okay. Yeah, that, 
it. It's be, Once it's again, because, he calls sin sin. Huh? Yeah. It's because that that time there were times when we were silent about those things because we were trying to be uh, trying to make people feel comfortable. But you, if you understand something about Jesus, he was compassionate. He was very merciful. He was very graceful. But like when he went in and, and overturned, turn, overturned the, the changes, the, turned the tables and the changes, the money changes in the temple, he was coming with the wrath of God. But he was also demonstrating his mercy and power by showing us that you have, this is supposed to be a house of prayer and you have made a den of thieves because they actually were actually cheating people. They were actually doing- They were stealing right there in the house. And right in the house of God. And it was not honoring God the way they were doing business. And so that's why Jesus came. He had a right to do his push being divine. But he did took that to say, he spoke out against that crookedness and for so long the christians had kind of not everybody but the christian church has kind of uh massage massage the errors oh, of people instead of instead of stand up and say hey this is wrong and when somebody do say you know when they when they use the word phobic they make that they, they, that's a misnomer it's, it's, it's a misused word because phobic mean has to do with fear be, uh, my disagreement with homosexuality is not mean I'm a fear of homosexual. Go ahead. I disagree because it's against the will of God. He's even against nature. Yeah, a man, all right. A man, a woman is born a woman. And I don't, you can't change it. I don't care. Amen. We didn't create, man, so we can't change what, what we can create. And that's here's the, thing here's the deal. Not everybody's going to be comfortable around us, but that don't mean that we got to be mean to them. We can, we're we going to be loving, which is what he said. Right. So if they're hungry, give them something to eat. If they thirsty, give them... We can be loving to everybody. And yeah. we should be loving to everybody. Well, we should not be rude and, and uh, disrespectful to right. anybody. But that don't mean we got to agree with all of the, the, the garbage the that they drag in. That, there you go. That, that means that's that true. I don't go around shooting people because they uh, yeah. they they want to do abortions or, or or all. I'm not gonna shoot them. Uh, I'm not gonna uh, go out and, and put stuff in front of their house. I'm not yeah. gonna. Uh, you mean uh, bombing abortion clinics? No, I'm not gonna do none of that. I'm not gonna go and, and paint stuff. Uh, uh, I, I'm I'm my goal is to win them to Christ. Right there, you go. That's Not the goal. to embarrass them, and, and the, my goal is to win them to Christ, and I'm going to win them by light, mm -hmm. not by darkness. I'm going to win them by light. light. And so we said, you can't overcome evil with evil, but you overcome evil with right. good. That's right. That's the only way it's going to work. So the, the light overcomes the darkness. And that it doesn't work any other way. Mm -hmm. Now, part of the thing is, is we also, as Christians, got to stop expecting sinners to act like saints. <laughs> they sinners. <laughs> what do you think they're going to do? Sin. But we need to ask okay. saints to be saints. And let sinners be sinners. It's also the saints need to stop uh, acting like the sinners if they're gonna be a saint. It's defining light properly. Mm -hmm. That that's exactly it. That's and, and when you get the definition right, you act it. Yeah, man. See, that's that is why. That's true. That's true. God yep. Has to be told in its proper context. Mm -hmm. Yes. Being evil out of business. Yes. Pro Caesar had declared himself as holy. All right. <laughs> he starts off by saying, you got to get that right. God mm -hmm. holy. Amen. And God's will, God, yes. yes. Paramount over Caesar's law. All right. Caesar's law came from evil. Yes. That's I right. came from holy. All right. And, and we 
takes a lot. God honor God's will. Amen. Stop focusing on the kingdoms of the world. Amen. Focus on God's kingdom. Yeah, you know, so show order. Mm. That's what a kingdom is. Yes. And so then when we pray in God's social order, we do God's will. Mm -hmm. Okay. In heaven, because heaven is wherever God is. All right. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. And the earth right. kills the Lord. Yes. All right, teacher, you preaching there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we, we, we have to we gotta pray evil out. I was socialized mm -hmm. in an evil order. So was everybody else. Go back to Adam and Eve. The social order of the United States yep. socialized me into evil. Amen. And I need Yeshua. Go ahead. Jesus. <laughs> socialize me into God's order. <laughs> and if I stay focused on him, I will live it. Right. And it goes beyond just... Uh, uh, just being willing to go to church and follow a few rules. It, 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 it goes beyond that. The, the focus has to be on, like you said, on Christ and not on, it ain't about me. Yeah, that's true. I've been crucified with Christ, but nevertheless I live. And yet not I, but it's Christ that lives within me. That's right. True. So now I'm living I'm letting him live out through me. And, and so it's no longer about me. It, it, and so it's not about what I want. It was God want for me. What does God want to use me for? Well, what is a, what's going to promote a push forward his kingdom and his agenda? It's not my agenda. It's not about me being in charge of anything. It's about God being ushered in and his kingdom being up. And it's about him being able to be seen by all. It's about <laughs> presenting him to those who don't know him. Mm. He's been misrepresented so much that it's hard to see him. And so it's about putting him out there so that they can see him clearly. So when we shine the light by overcoming evil with good, mm -hmm. not with bad, not 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 just trying to evil out evil them. And, and so I, I can't, I can't, that that's what part of what King was talking about. He, he was resisting some real big time evil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He wasn't advocating his people to go out and do evil. They blew up churches, and he, he said, we're not going to get no bombs and blow nobody up. Well, we're going to be good no matter what. We're going to hold to doing God's work and doing God's will. We're going to still call evil evil, but we're going to do God's will no matter what. Birmingham got something they called it Birmingham. They knew the police officers who brought the bombs. Mm. So an evil state, because the police represent the state, brought the bombs. Mm -hmm. And it was. And yet King said he had been to the mountaintop. That's uh, what he said. He misunderstand that. Go ahead. We think of he saying, I seen the power that comes from heaven. Yes this crap over. Yes. I don't have to worry about this. Because it's, yes. Oh, power from on high. Yes, mm -hmm. it's going to overcome this. That's right. And, and that's the only thing that can overcome darkness. It's Hello. Right. From on high. Yes. Glory to God. That's only right. Only light overcomes darkness. That's another way only of saying, light. It's another way of saying the resurrection. 
Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go the ahead. Rest, the crucifixion was reserved for anybody. Yes. Fused to let Rome oppress them. Mm. All right. The insurrection. Yes. And they kept copious records. Mm. Some of the best records of anybody that defied Caesar. All right. And they wrote their charge on the cross. Mm -hmm. And, and they so Jesus crucified. said, the worst you can do to me, I got power from all how to overcome it. That's Amen. Right. King said the same thing. Yeah. Amen. And the only thing that can overcome evil Yes. Is that power that comes from a right relationship with God. 100%. Right. And God is pure light. The scripture said that Jesus no said, spirit. yeah, said that, that he came, that he is that light. And that light is the light that lighted every man that come into the world. <laughs> so, yes. you know, and he said that light shined in darkness and the dark. I keep hearing that you just stated too. It feels so eloquently. It can't overtake the light. That's when right. You turn the light on in a dark room. That that light shines up, and it's just about yeah, shines up. If but there's the more darkness, darkness than light, it's not right. because the darkness was more powerful. That's it's right. It's because we won't let the light shine. That's right. And so the emphasis of, of Dr. King. It resonated throughout the world, and it caused it turned the United States on up, up on its heels. And even some of the things that people are doing today is turning up on because <laughs> folks are tired of this stuff, and it's coming down to it. But we don't we don't win it by by uh, darkness. We win it by by walking in righteousness of God. You know, if you really want to, God to work on your behalf, the Scripture says, "Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His say. righteousness." <laughs> and all of these things be added unto you. Peace, joy, happiness, prosperity, blessings, doorways open, uh, evil defied, overcome uh, evil, and then you, those things will be open if you seek ye first the kingdom. That's how we become like him. We social seek his order that Calvin right. talked about. Yeah, that's social order. Operating that's right. in God's kingdom. Yep. And that's what Jesus said, I give you keys. To the king. <laughs> the kingdom. Yes. Whatever yes. right. you bind on earth should be bound. <laughs> bound in heaven. <laughs> you loose. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> he literally is saying, <laughs> You become me. That's right. On the earth. power that I had <laughs> to defeat evil. Yeah. I gave to you. Yeah. All you gotta do is under my authority. Mm -hmm. Bind it. Yeah. All right. With one key. Yeah. All right. Sign in my word. Yes. Unlock my favor with another key. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you ain't gotta right. get down in the muck with them. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> A part and another part of it is. Is how we view ourselves. That's yes. Right. I'm not the army of God. Hello. I'm a citizen. Right. <laughs> All right. A social order. Yes. God's kingdom. Yes. Citizens don't fight. Amen. Amen. Don't just fight. Go ahead. The army of the Lord is the angels. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. Y'all come on my behalf. All right, all right. All right. God will make them fight for me. Amen. Yeah. In fact, he said the battle is not yours. It's the Lord's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to believe that. Yep. You got to see that as it is. You gotta, and you gotta, that's why all of this goes back to actually having that faith in, in, in Christ and, and actually well, we actually have to trust and we actually have to exercise that faith in That's order true. for all of this and it all will work mm -hmm. 
God, God doesn't say that Jesus said before one even uh, punctuation mark of God's uh, word fails, mm -hmm. all of heaven and earth will both pass away. Pass away. That's right. Sure so he's did. saying that it's not possible for his word not to work. Mm -hmm. It's an impossibility. It's because his word is what this whole thing is based upon. It's held together by his word. And if it is, then whatever he says goes. And he says right. this is the way it works. And guess what? It doesn't That's matter what, what other people say. It still works this right. way. It sure does. That's true. Doesn't matter what other people like or don't like. It still, still works. works this That's way. That's right. Even if I agree with it, if I disagree with it, it still, still works. works this That's way. That's true. Why? Because he said it. That settles it. Period. That's right. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. But you got to believe that. Huh? <laughs> you got to believe that, though. That's true. Well, you're believing it affects how you act based upon it. It yeah. doesn't affect it not working or working or not working. It only affects whether it'll work for you or not. Yeah. And if you will believe it, then it'll work for you. If you That's don't, why I said it that way. Then, yeah. then it won't work for you. It still works. It just won't work for you. And the reason is, is you don't have faith. That's true. <laughs> All right, guys, I, I, I enjoyed it. It was awesome. Uh, yeah. I do want to let everybody know is next week we're going to talk about uh, uh, coming from each Ephesians 4. We'll still be dealing with uh, being the body, and we're talking about us being the body of Christ. The, the church is, 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 is the body of Christ, it, it, and it's the people. It, it was never a building. It, That's right. The building is the house of prayer. It's where we go to pray to God, to worship him, to be there. But we can worship anywhere because we are the church. That's We're right. The people of the church. And, and so we can pray anywhere because we are the church. We're the ones that make the building work. It doesn't work the other way around. It, it, it is our relationship with God that establishes everything else. And without that relationship, nothing else works. So if you don't have a relationship, that's the first thing you got to do is get a relationship with him. And then you've got to actually grow in him and let him grow in you. And as, as we start to surrender, then he grows in us. And as we get to know him, then we become more like him. And, and so we get to get into his word. And, and grow. And so, if you got any questions, if you got a concern, if you then send us an email, uh, send me an email, and uh, it's l a m e one four one two eight zero at hotmail dot com. That's l a m e one four one two eight zero at hotmail dot com, and or you can email us uh, respond by uh, sending a, a, a message to the church and they'll still get it to me so that we can uh, uh, answer your questions. I look forward to seeing you next time. We had a wonderful time and thank God for this opportunity to gather and to study his word. Greg, you want to close us out with a word of prayer? Okay. Father, we thank you for this time together. We thank you even for this opportunity to look into your perfect law of liberty. Now, Lord, Open our hearts and mind that we receive this and not only be hearers, but doers of thy word. Lord, let it be committed to our spirit to hear yes, and to do and to walk in your ways that we may walk in blessing, that we may live peacefully, that we may bring joy and live in joy and happiness. Yes, Lord. The rest of our days, in the name of Jesus, every sinner that hear this message, Lord, cause his heart to be under conviction and turn the tide in his life. In the name of Jesus, yes, to Lord. Your we give you glory and honor. Thank you for those that are taking part in this sharing and, and the ministry of this word. We ask your blessings upon them. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Brother. God bless you. I've been All enjoying right. this. This, is, this is my weekly Bible study. <laughs>